So the first thing you want to do is add your bass sound. Okay, so I'm just going to add Nexus. And I'm going to go into bass and choose the basic square. That sounds nice. I'm just going to switch off the reverb. So it's dry. Perfect. So what you want to do is you want to use ghost notes. Ghost notes are these highlighted notes that you're seeing over here. If you don't know how you can turn those on, come here to the drop down menu, go to helpers and ghost channels or alt V. That's how you can um, put them on. If you want these to be editable as well, you can just switch on editable and you can actually change them. But I don't like to do this in case of mistakes. So I'd rather not make them editable. I'd rather leave them like that. So ghost notes are amazing. This is one of the features that makes me really um, enjoy using FL Studio because of ghost notes. I'm actually missing some notes down here. Let me just go back there. Okay, those ones. Let me just copy this. Drop that there. Okay. Awesome. Now we go back in. Now we have ghost notes. Now all we just have to do to make a bass line, the first way is to use these ghost notes to make our bass line. So you can just pick which uh, which notes you want to follow. So I'm just going to add a note here and just make it shorter. So from here, you can just play around with your notes and just keep them in key by following the ghost notes. This is an amazing technique that I use all the time when I'm making music. I just follow my ghost notes. Simple. Now, the second way you can also make um, a bass line is to do this. I'm just going to clone this instance of Nexus so I have a second one. There we go. The same one and what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the same chords i'll just um press ctrl c and ctrl v to paste so now i have chords in my bass channel but i don't want them to play as chords so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come here and mute everything so i'm just going to come and select the mute i'm just going to come and select the mute um icon so i get the mute tool so now what i want to do is I'm just going to unmute the notes that I want to play. So maybe I can unmute that one. If I don't like it, I switch it off. If I don't like that one, switch this one on.
So then now you have a guide on how you can make a nice simple baseline. So then after this, you can now start chopping up your notes. And you know, you can just chop away one. Oh, the first bass is actually still playing. My bad. Let me undo that cut. That one is still playing. that I'll just switch that off definitely just delete the rest because guess what I have ghost notes behind them anyways so that's the second bass line and now let me play the first one So as you can hear, the difference is just that the first bass line is a little bit more on a lower octave and the second one is a little bit higher, but it's like two bases that you can choose. It, it all depends with the way that you want to, you know, attempt this, the way that you want to do this. If you want to use the ghost notes or you want to use the chords themselves and use the uh, muting trick that I just showed you, it's all up to you. There are a million ways um, to do this. I want to know how you make your bass lines. Do you create them, you know, from your head? Do you, you know, uh, play a bass line in your mind and then you create it? Or do you use this, um, this technique? Or how do you do it? I want to know down in the comments. And let me know which bass line style you like from these two that I just made here. And if you really found this really helpful, drop me a like down below. And also share with your friends and other producers that are struggling with bass so that they get these tips. They are very important. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everybody that subscribed to my channel and everybody that supports my channel. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to check you out in my next video. I'm X and I'm out. Peace.